Yo, it is good. Yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over the new Hunt for Glory Lunar New Year set in NBA 2K22, my team today. We also did get moments of the month. I did release a video on that as well. So make sure to uh, watch that, and, you know, see what my opinions on the whole moments of the month is for this season. A couple of good cards in there that I think you guys might be interested in. We do also get a really, really what I think is going to be solid set in my team today in the lunar new years now before we dive into it make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are the are on the road to 90 000 subscribers we're gonna start with jared solar three this dude was so tough at ohio state i just want to throw that out there six nine seven one wingspan can shoot 85 three ball dunking's decent playmaking is decent he's just an all-around decent card i can't really say there's anything that like pops out that's like outside of the base 38 on quick right in the fundamental driven style I don't think this Jared Solinger is going to be next level good. But I will say, if we get a Jared Solinger in the future, he might be. It's not terrible, right? There's nothing that really pops out as him being terrible in my team. But, I mean, I, if he didn't have the jump shot 38 in the fundamental dribble style, I, I wouldn't really think anything of the card. I mean, can you play him at power forward? I mean, he's a little slow. Can you play him at center? Going to get bullied on the interior. I just don't see Jared Solinger being that next level good in my team. Stromile Swift up next. Got a Stromile Swift in my team. 6971 wingspan, 73 bump. Okay, 95 driving deck, 86 pointer, 76 speed with ball. 84 speed, decent enough defense. I mean, again, what is he really doing on my court? Gallo base on quick and quick dribble style. All right, hold up. Now that they now we know what they gave Stromile Swift. Okay. Let's get back into it. With Monty Williams. He got a 75 three ball. Ball handle is 86. Yes, he's a little slow. 89 speed and a good enough defender all the way around. Has the Gallinari base. Rudy upper on quick, quick dribble style. This card is going to be chick even with that 75 three ball. I'm going to throw that out there. He's going to be chick. You can give him a catch and shoot. That's really all he needs. Defensively going to be solid. Has that quick dribble style. Similar to Jared Solinger. Maybe not right now. He's a top card in the game, but if we do get a souped up Stroh Miles Swift, he eventually has the potential. OJ Mayo, we're done talking about potential. We're talking about top point guards in my team right now. I just already saw something that I don't like. 6'5", six, 6'8", six, wingspan. Why the 66 interior, my? Like, why? 92, 3 ball, 90 driving, 92, 3 ball, 86 ball, 93 speed acceleration, 90 ladder quickness, incredible shooting badges. It has an acrobat on triple as well. Defensively, can get brick wall, okay? Can get really every badge in the game. Outside of hyperdrive that he does need. Jump shot, 49 on quick, base dribble style. I still think he has the potential to be a top, five, top 10 point guard in my team. The problem being the interior if his interior was 75 i'd be way higher on the card yes i get it with monty williams it, uh, it doesn't need, it doesn't even get boosted with monty williams it's the speed and perimeter defense that does ball handle goes up a little bit i just have a i have a hard time running oj mayo i do if he's one of your favorite point guards in the game i get it like he's gonna be basically a mini jr smith he didn't he either needed a better dribble stop or he needed uh, a better interior in my opinion to be that next level good, right? Because we're talking about, I mean, what? what is, let, me, let me ask you guys this question. What is OJ Mayo really doing better than Larry Hughes? I mean, obviously the three ball, yes, but defensively Larry Hughes is way better and it's not even close. So get it. Uh, in general, you guys might want uh, OJ Mayo over Larry Hughes. I just think Larry's the better overall card. Big Wang is our next card today. I'm kind of let down by the only 30 base badges. That's a let down to me. But let's still talk about it. 7 feet to a 7 4 wingspan, 93 3 ball can dunk, can't really handle the ball too well. 78 speed, 76 ladder queenness, 87 interior spine, decent enough vertical strength. Okay, here's what we're working with. Now we now will know what we're working with. He does have Intimidator and Post Lockdown on Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame catch shoot corner specialist, hot zone hunter with hot spots from everywhere. Hall of Fame drop stepper, put back boss, rise up, does have gold back down punisher. Playmaker wise, quick first step, it's all you need. Defensively, can get chased down artists, can get ball stripper, can get clamps. Okay. Look, here's the deal. You can apply five badges to him. And, I mean, you don't really need anything playmaker-wise. Finishing-wise, maybe mouse and house on triple fast twitch are badges you might want but aren't really needed. You give him Monty Williams. And I'm selling this, Monty Williams, or uh, or if you do want to give him the other coach is Quinn Snyder. Those are the two best coach in the game. Boost his speed, boost his interior perimeter, going to make him a little bit better. Rebounding-wise, obviously, at a 99 
Is he that top big in the game? I can't necessarily say I know. Uh, jump shot 28 is still going to be smooth. Fundamental dribble style, not really going to be able to use it. I just don't know if he's that next level good. I think I think here's the deal. His, his player model might make up for it and is decent enough interior, especially if you give him an interior defense shoot. He's going to be able to hold it down against, you know, the top mashers in the game. I just, I'm going to have to see it for Wang. We know he's going to be able to shoot the ball. We know he's going to be able to defend on the interior. But what about the lateral quickness? Is he going to be able to defend in the switch type of setting? I mean, maybe if you give him clamps, he'll be able to hold it down. I'm just going to have to see because he does lack a lot of badges. Even badged up, only going to have 35 total badges. That's something that scares me. Wang, I will say it right now, not as good as I expected him to be. And it really comes down to his badges. Because stat-wise, I mean, there's not much I can say that's that bad about it. I mean, he can shoot, he can dunk, he can rebound. Like, there's really, the outside of his maybe speed and lateral quickness, not much that I can really say about it. This card, whatever you got to do, fasten your seatbelts, because this card might be him in my team. 93 three ball for ye. 85 driving dunk can handle the ball 83 speed 83 lateral quickness interior perimeter decent rebounding wise pretty solid as well hall of fame dream shake i don't really use that badge blinders catch and shoot corner specialist set shooter sniper volume shooter downhill quick first step here's where it gets interesting interceptor intimidator pogo stick rebound chaser and tireless defender he's in my he's immaculate this card is so so elite you give him clicks really all he needs on the defensive end can't get ball stripper so you give him clamps that's the first thing you give him chef you give him heck some more but i'd even give him mouse in the house probably maybe back down punisher those cheesy badges then maybe you look at the playmaking see if you could use anything glue hands probably this card can be him yes his speed doesn't look great but here's what i'm going to tell you you get a speed coach you give him a speed shoe He's going to be just fine. You give him a speed, acceleration, vertical, lateral quickness type of shoe. That's all he really needs. Maybe even a speed with ball. You throw that on him. A 98 three ball, 88 speed, 94 interior, 94, 90 perimeter. Great shooting wise. Fundamental dribble style. Jump shot 70. It's on normal timing though. That's the only holdup I have is the fact that he has jump shot 40 on normal time. If he had jump shot 70, I said jump shot 40. If he had jump shot 70 on quick, I would say there's like hardly any doubts he's the top power forward in the game. Because it is on, on normal timing, I just don't know if he's that next level good. What I am going to do, and you guys might not even think this is fair, because honestly, it's not really fair to compare him to Anthony Davis. But let's just look, okay? Let's just look and see. And quite honestly, guys, I'm going to say this. You guys don't have to agree. He holds his own versus Anthony Davis. Am I sitting here saying he's better than AD? No. But what I would say is he's got fundamental dribble style, which you can make the case is cheesier because it is going to be better at shooting the ball depending on pending that jump shot. 70. I don't think we can sleep on Yee Yale in general, right? I really think he's got what it takes uh, to be that next level good. Now, especially just because of his badges more than anything. I mean, defensively, you look at the Hall of Fame interceptor which is super important hall of fame blinders sniper volume shooter at seven feet tall is just really cheesy i don't know if he's that next level good I, i'm just throwing that out there for you guys because i do think if you give him a speed shoe it's really going to come down to it's, it's going to come down to that release and if that release is next level good so Yi wang both decent enough cards in my team stromile swift jared solinger have really good sigs really good animations I just think it's going to take a little bit for them to be the next level good. OJ Mayo on the other side, I mean, it's his sigs that are holding him up. But I think the best card we got today is Yi followed by Wang. Outside of that, I mean, Stromile Swift might be the next best card. OJ Mayo is decent enough. And then Jared Solinger rounded it up. Let me know which of these cards you guys are most excited about in my team, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.